Hi everybody, and welcome back to Genderbender as Nadine, where we left off with this. Speak to the nerds again? Yeah, that's gonna crack the heads of some nerds. <laughs> Oi, nerds! <laughs> Alright, autoplay. My god, she's smiling. Well, considering that she could just magically fix, like, some sort of machine in her playthrough. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, congratulations, you're now a computer nerd, because you now know that it's a pile of code. I'll be right. You mean I'll be alright? My god, you still exist. I thought you quit. Again, Nathan, you kind of deserve it. I was just, the reason for that silence was I was kind of thinking like most employers don't like you leaving right out the door as soon as the as soon as the legally binding job description says so. Usually they want you to actually complete your current job first. Like what like what Jeff does, for example. Which is you complete the job that you're working on, then you go home, regardless of whether or not the job description said you can leave at whatever time when you sign on. So leaving at that time, no matter what, does not look good at all. At all. <laughs> oh, right, Rose went over to the lab. <laughs> Rainy day. I think that's a privacy problem. There you go. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how many times Jack's been sued personally, I mean. Makes you think. Especially when you have that dun 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 music in the back of your mind. Like it's got, it's got such a bassy volume, like a bassy sound to it. I'm kinda like a that, just, that when you're wearing headphones, it just gets to you. Oh, I was gonna say nachos again. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say... <laughs> Nathan and I were thinking about the same thing.
They got a point. I never thought that those nachos might have been deep fried more than once. <laughs> cover them in butter. Dip them. Cover them in butter again. Dip them again. <laughs> just, to, just to see what happens with nachos. Don't put the cheese in there or else you'll get cheese curds and nachos. Not a bad combination, but you kind of need the cheese on the tortilla chips. Which is basically what nachos are. Melted cheese on tortilla chips. A sack of goon. What the hell is a sack of goon? And the green cat sells miners alcohol because... Alright, UK. 18 is their drinking age. Dirt to dirt. Never mind. Their drinking age in the UK is 18. I forgot about that. Unless they changed it within the last five years. <laughs> so, as far as I know, their drinking age is 18. So that makes much more sense. Then again, the UK probably doesn't have as many drinking problems as Americans do when it comes to crime. So, that's probably a huge part of it. They, he does. She has a point. That's why you actually have to. Never mind. <laughs> Next time, just listen to her. As you can see, she had a very active life and knows these things. If you can't see it, then how is it busy? Hmm... Good lord. They really must be busy. Okay. But... Ah... Have fun in Paris, then. You know that's where she wants to go. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> yeah, she says that now. Ha! That is what Rose wants to hear. Extremely awkward. Technically you can on one condition. All of them are female. All of the kids be female. That's the one condition because there is a way within artificial insemination to not take the DNA from the sperm or the egg or whatever, but to take it from something like your skin or something and take half of that DNA and put that in there instead. Now I'm not sure how to activate it, but there is a very experimental way to do this. Keep in mind that this was experimental at the time, they may have abandoned this uh, idea. I may not remember it correctly, because it has been a couple years since I've learned of this. So bear that in mind. I may not remember it correctly. It may have been abandoned. Or it may still be experimental to the point to where almost no one outside of people who watch PBS all the time know about. So bear those in mind.
<laughs> Stop pretending like you don't like it. Oh, while I was busy babbling, Rose revealed that she had the serum. Well then. <laughs> Wait, I thought Yale was underage. I'm confused. Who was underage in this game? Is it even this game? How did that even occur to me? Like, who was underage? What game was it in? God damn it! Ah, oh, crap! Oh well, I'm sure I'll think about it at some point. And that wasn't nearly enough time. Ha 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 ha. Oh, to, find, to change them back, I was going to say, I'll wait for them to tell you that it was permanent. Uh, okay. <laughs> dirt's dirt. Bogla, bogla, bogla. I just point, I just realized she's been wearing a robe the whole time. <laughs> and there's the sticky notes again. You know, it's pretty funny. The yellow sticky notes actually kind of blend in. It's actually kind of funny. I never realized that because my sticky notes were always so freaking huge. I might try some of the different colors like blue or pink. Just for the hell of it. I think the other color is green. Give me a moment. Blue, green, pink, purple, white, and yellow. Purple. Oogla boogla. I'm a purple sticky note. <laughs> I gotta quit moving these around. They're gonna just minimize everything else. Hi, Dana. Now I'm the creepiest sticky note in existence, for I am the white sticky note. <laughs> I could just fill the sides with sticky note. Just for the hell of it. I might have to do that next weekend. God, that would be funny. And the pink sticking it. Wow, that is not pink. God, that is like a like an orchid. Or yeah, like an orchid. Like an orchid color. That's kind of a pink and yellow pink and purple combination. And then finally green. <laughs> oh my god, it's Dina Green! Look at this. Look at this. It is Dina Green. Maybe I'll change the colors based on who I'm playing. Oh god, that would be funny. But I don't have a red sticky note, I'd change that for Nadine. God, that is awesome. Like a clownfish. <laughs> Which I found completely bizarre. I can't remember where... Oh, yeah, yeah, because I was looking it up, actually, that one time. And they mentioned that Nemo's dad didn't do that. Because, you know, it's a kid's movie, for starters, and secondly, there were no other clownfish. But still. Why would they choose clownfish for finding Nemo? Hmm... Yeah, well, you can't just sit on your butt when it comes to business and politics. Dun dun dun!
Not that we know of, anyway. He he he, Zara. Because, <laughs> you know, in Zara's heart, they do mention that they found a way around that. I think you have to romance Lynn to get that information, I'm not sure. That is surprisingly accurate, yes. <laughs> Yes, you do. You just didn't know that's what it did. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you could market that to scuba divers. She found out! Ooh, busted! Uh huh. Sure, you were. Ha ha! in a jumble. I think I looked that up and I don't think I found it. You invested in them to revive the show. Are you kidding me? You did it to revive the show? You can't just fund the people who made the show? I'm surprised that Rose doesn't work with Dina and Lynn. Good lord. She knows what the hell she's doing. The hell is that rumbling noise? Oh. <laughs> oh come on, this is Dina we're talking about. If anything, it will just... <laughs> yeah. Not in the office, though. That's the big thing. Because the last thing you need is Jack walking in and seeing the transformation happening. That's the last thing you need. Or better yet, right after it happens. You're just like, oh, that's the last thing you need. And bottom. <laughs> <laughs> she really is a dude. No. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't need more clothes. Go away. That is an excellent question. So, regardless of what, we're in Lolita. Boxers doesn't sell any?
Do it. Wait, they're actually different sizes? They look about the same to me! <laughs> Ouch! And boom! But it looks nice with the hair tied back. Well, that's three of us in agreement then. Yes, but you still voted yes. Oh boy. Yes, but copywriting also means, well for starters, that wouldn't be a copyright, it'd be more of a patent, but still. That would also mean that you'd have to make the information public. Companies just aren't allowed to use it as long as that patent exists. <laughs> Congratulations! You're now shopping at the enemy store. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> the only re Whoa. Well, then, Ninja, for this going to an evening party. Yes, yes, it is very important. Ninja going to a freaking evening party. No, it looks good, I'm just saying. She looks like she's supposed to be going out to one of those outside dinner parties, you know? Yeah, like I said, an outside dinner party. Yes, but wearing evening wear to work is kind of weird. <laughs> oh my god, we can wear the dress to work. Uh, not if we're going to be cracking down on the nerds now. No, 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 no. Not if we're cracking down on the nerds. If we were cracking down on somebody else, maybe, but not the nerds, nah. Next time. Next time. <laughs> hey, make sure to remind me next time, guys. Make sure to remind me for next time, because I know a lot of you guys kind of backtrack on a lot of my old videos for whatever reason you guys can possibly conceive of, but a lot of you guys tend to backtrack, so make sure that I remember this. Because <laughs> I sure as hell won't. Cat Carol menacing the public. They are doing their jobs, it's just that not that many of them. Ugh. Hmm? We were just going through the emails.
They signed instantly. <laughs> Pleased enough to do something crazy. Yes. <laughs> what does knock back their contracts mean? Hmm. If I didn't want to actually pay attention, then I might actually look that up. I, I don't know. Oh god. Now I'm glad we didn't wear the dress. That sorted out us out. I think there's one too many outs in that sentence. Nerds! <laughs> yeah, me and Nadine are thinking together again. Nerds! Oh dear. Poor Dan. Oh god! Oh god! I did not see that coming. Oh, God. God, the potential between those two. Holy shit, that's creepy. Good God. Ugh. Did not see the potential in that. Holy... Wow, that... Whoa. <laughs> like, I, I did not put two and two together until just now that that was a possibility. Oh, God. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but good Lord, I just... It just... The fact that I didn't think about it is what blows me away. <gasps> What's weird? <laughs> Dad, oh God. <laughs> oh. could probably trace their IP address. Unless, of course, that involves specifically using the internet. Hmm. Is there a server connected to the internet? Or, if it's on-site, would it be connected to the internet, or would that just be considered the network? Can you still trace an IP address if it's just connected to a network, but not the internet? Hmm. Oh, wow, okay then. Oh, wow, I just checked the time. What's what? Well, there's his letter of resignation, so... Yes, Jack. Oh, 
Oh god. This is why I didn't wear the dress to work. To work. I hit the mic by accident. Oh dear. No, it can't be good, but neither can a cliffhanger! Yay! So, despite me being evil like that, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Maybe Dan and Jeff will get together, who knows? So, uh, keep in mind we are going for a false ending, which, frankly, I can't really despise when I purposefully go for a false ending like that. If there's one thing I can't stand, and I am dead serious when it comes to role-playing in a video game, like, in any RPG of any kind, this is kind of RPG-ish, esque and ish Eskinish. <laughs> but if there's one thing that I can't stand in anything that I roleplay in, in even the slightest, like Mass Effect or something, it is getting false information. Or purposefully going for the wrong answer. And frankly, that is the ending that we are going for, and I literally cannot stand that. <laughs> but I'm pushing through it anyway. I can't tell you how tempted I am every episode, but whatever. We're going to crack down on those nerds in a few more episodes. Keep in mind that will be next weekend. So, with that aside, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in the next episode. I will, of course, be telling you guys that uh, weekend thing on Twitter. So, make sure to check for that in the description. I still only have like 20 followers there, but I have like a, almost a thousand of you here on YouTube. The hell's up with you guys? I know a lot of you guys are just waiting for the new episodes, but still, come on. So, with that aside, good day and good clicking. That's my new ending. I do that, uh, saying just for the hell of it, by the way. Just for people who are bothered by that. I just do it for the hell of it. Clay.